Hello, hello everyone and welcome to your weekly reading for July 18th, 2021. This is a collective reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You guys know the drill by now. If you guys like my content, please like, share, hit that subscribe button, guys. I really appreciate it. We're growing every single day and I cannot thank you enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Congratulations to the 2K giveaway winner. The prize has been claimed. Um, thank you to all who entered. There will be more giveaways as we continue to grow. So that is amazing. So keep an eye out for those. All right. Okay. If you guys want a personal reading with me, you can, of course, do so on the website. Oopsies. I'll link below. Um, the summer check-in reading is only available till the end of July. I've been doing a lot of those. Um, they're amazing insights, so be sure to get one before they're gone. So let's get into it here for this week. I'm curious to see what comes up for us as a collective. For whatever reason, these three wanted to come out and they wanted to shuffle one more time. So, let's start with what we've got here. We have Temperance off the hop. All right, really watch your balance this week. Um, let's see what we have. We have the Moon and we have the King of Swords. Okay. There may be some situations that come up here this week in which uh, you're going to have to set some boundaries, okay? Some hard boundaries that you're not expecting to put up. Now that could be um, at work, it can be with other people, what have you, okay? Um, but there's gonna be at least, well, at least one, but possibly, possibly even more than that few situations where it's like you really have to be in your own corner and you're gonna have to be the one to like I said set those boundaries say your piece and leave it and it's like it's almost like it comes out of the blue right it's almost like you did not see it coming maybe somebody confronts you over something and you're like what and you know it it's like you just you would never in a million years guess that you're gonna to have to set this boundary this week. Not on your radar, right? Um, we have the moon here, things get revealed this week and you're like, what the fuck, okay? Which is why it's so important to keep very balanced emotionally, um, spiritually, mentally, like do all you can, make sure you're getting lots of rest. Do all that you can to stay nice and balanced because there's gonna be situations where it could throw you off pretty easily, all right? All right. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, it's Four of Swords is here. The rest, right? Look. It's coming in. Okay, whatever this is with the moon that's going to be revealed, it's going to come in, like I said, it's almost like a blindside. Just kind of comes in, fucking hits you, and off it goes. But there's repercussions here with the tower card. I like to remind people when they see this, it's a pretty, <laughs> it's a pretty intimidating fucking card. But you know what? The tower is awesome. It's one of my favorites. Anything that wasn't solid will fall away. So you're not really losing anything, okay? Not to say that it's not gonna be shitty in the moment, but this is for your greater good here, okay? You're gonna have to really make sure to take time to rest, to process, right? And this this can make it seem like it's a huge, big, life-altering deal when really it could just be the end of a friendship that you've had for five years. You know, like it doesn't have to be a big, lifelong, big change, 
although it could be, okay? Just make sure that you're resting, right? Because you need to stay balanced. Temperance up here, right? Perhaps you learn um, not to give so much to others and give more to yourself. That could be a lesson for, I think, quite a few of us, actually. Um, but yeah, there's going to be movement this week. It's going to come out of the blue. But ultimately, it's for our better good. But yeah, there's the Seven of Swords. It's like it sneaks in. Again, gets revealed, comes in quickly, kind of shakes our foundation. Really messes with our head this week. But it's like you never saw it coming. Don't beat yourself up over it. Right? Don't beat yourself up over it. Because this is there. Um, I'm hearing the words paving the way. Okay. This right here is making room for something to come in. Because you weren't, we, you, I should say, I'm sure I'm involved in this too. It's for all of us. But we weren't making space for what needs to come in. So shh, it's going to be done for us. And again, it can be on a small scale. It can be on a big scale. Trust it's for our higher good. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm immediately hearing the words get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Here with the nine of pentacles. All right, um, again, three of uh, cups. This is, <laughs> these both came out in reverse originally. Um, so it's like we're uncomfortable. Um, there's We feel like there's really nothing to celebrate or that this cannot possibly be for a greater good, but it actually is, okay? This is where growth happens. So try to look at this as an exciting thing, even though, you know, it has the potential to be like, fuck me, you know? It's all about how we perceive, okay? So that's very important. Ah, see, right beside the tower card, we have the magician. This is making way for what a lot of us, what we wanted for a manifestation with the magician card here, right? This is giving you what you asked for, right? Some of you might be losing a job and, you know, to get a new one. It could be a lot of different things. But regardless, you've been working at this manifestation for a while. I feel like it's almost like you even forgot about it. That's how long you've been waiting for it. So whatever this is, this tower card that comes out of the blue and gives us a good shake up, makes us uncomfortable, you actually asked for this. You've been working towards it when you see the Eight of Pentacles and the Magician, right? You've been working towards this manifestation. So just remember, you asked for it. Maybe not in this particular manner, but it's the way it had to come in. Okay, so this is a week of growth. A week of surprises, but ultimately an intense week of change, which is phenomenal for you in the long run. So trust, 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 believe it. This is exciting. That's what we're going to tell ourselves, right? It's nothing to ultimately worry about in the long run, but do please take care of yourselves and rest. All right. All right, you guys, interesting week coming up. Do let me know how you're feeling. I wish you all the best, sending you all lots of love. Bye.